Those higher estimates by our forecast models panned out. We got six to eight inches of snow uh, up and down the metro, but now the really cold weather and the cold weather that's getting worse tonight, this is the main focus. Pipes are already breaking. Hundreds of thousands of Texans are already central Texans are without power. I believe, Robert, you said two million Texans are without power this evening, and these problems are only going to get worse. The power demand for your heater and such, it's only going to get worse as temperatures get to the coldest we've seen with this event later on tonight. At least it's a pretty sight here from the studio cam in the West Campus neighborhood right on top of our roof. We're looking southward toward downtown with a cloudy sky across the area. Temperatures this afternoon are holding steady in the lower 20s. A few more breaks in the clouds right now out at the Austin Airport, which has been shut down today. Hill Country temperatures, and let me just broad brush this with the fact that these are one hour old. We here in the Weather Center and at KXAN are dealing with an outside provider internet outage because of the power issues that we're having. So bear with me through the forecast. We're still going to get you everything you need to know. Bottom line is we've been in the teens pretty much all day throughout the hill country. Same north and west of Austin, mainly teens to near 20 right now, up and down 35. And you can pretty much subtract a degree or two from the readings you're seeing here as far as what it is outside right now. Jim Spencer, thankfully, helping me put this graphic together. I know it doesn't look as great as your usual first warning weather graphics, but we're dealing with these outages just like you are at home. The highest totals were up and down I-35 and right there in Travis County. Austin officially got 6.4 inches of snow, the most we've seen since 1949. We'll talk more about that, how that might affect our cold weather tonight in just a moment. We had an unofficial 9-inch reading from the Manor area. If that does pan out to be official, that would be by far the highest we've seen. Official 8 inches there in Round Rock, 6 inches in Georgetown and in Leander, even out here in Lago Vista and Lakeway, 5.5 inches. Wyatt Oak Hill, more than a half a foot. And look at that, Southeast Austin Mustang Ridge, over a half a foot. South Austin and East Austin getting a clean 6 inches of snow from this incredible event. Here's uh, the historical ranking, the biggest snowstorm we've ever had. Well, we didn't quite get there. That was 1937, but this will go down in history now as the Valentine's Day snow, third biggest we've ever seen in the Austin area and the biggest we've seen since 49. Now, I want to talk more about this 1949 event. As I told you yesterday, if you were joining us during our wall-to-wall -wall coverage, six and a half inches of snow fell on January 30th, 1949. Then the following morning, we were two degrees below zero, the all-time record for coldest reading in the Austin area. That's a similar setup as tonight. That's why we're going to be so cold. The clouds are clearing. The winds will eventually be settling down by morning. And this allows for a setup on the broad scale here that we call radiational cooling. Any heat that is at the Earth's surface just has a free path to escape on out to space. And especially with the snowpack here on the ground, which we never have to account for in our forecast, that makes that heat escape even more efficiently. That all adds up to this, the coldest night since 1989 and three degrees colder than we were last night when we were at eight degrees at Camp Mabry. Skies should be clearing winds. They don't totally die out. And I'll tell you, if the winds did totally die out all night, Austin could drop below zero. I do think we maintain a light breeze, which actually serves to keep our temperatures a little milder, if you want to call it that, at five. Elsewhere, and again, I apologize for the presentation of this as we deal with some outages here, forecast lows, single digits to single digits below zero. It's very possible that all of the small communities here not shown in the colder valleys of the hill country could be several degrees below zero. Even Lano, Fredericksburg on Main Street, we could be slightly below zero in the morning and east of 35, just a very, very cold night as well. And tomorrow, this is why the winter storm is not over. Tomorrow is 27 for our high, even with the sun out. Then we get another winter storm starting at 6 p.m. tomorrow. And again, I can't show you the hour by hour forecast radar. Hopefully tonight on KXAN News, we can get this fixed and I will show it to you. But look at this. Another accumulation of up to a quarter of an inch of ice. That would be devastating on top of the ice and snow we already have. And then light snowfall. This winter storm warning starts at 6 p.m. tomorrow. That's when the precipitation may start and it continues through Wednesday all the way through Thursday 
morning. Here's the one bright spot, if you want to call it that. After some ice and sleet on Wednesday morning, we should briefly warm above freezing Wednesday afternoon, but then everything refreezes the next morning, so I don't even know if that matters. Be sure to download your KXAN weather app by pointing your smartphone camera at the top of your screen. We'll keep you advised through this ongoing crippling series of winter storms. At least we have a nice weekend to look toward a light at the end of the tunnel.